But oh. no, my, my question, my question to you would mm. be, what happened mm. to that Aubameyang yeah. in Arsenal? He stopped scoring. No, you can't say that. Mm. But he did. Mm. I mean, how many games did he go without scoring at Arsenal? This season, before he's holding. Leave it alone this season. Last season. Last season. A whole season. So do you think Barcelona were wrong to, hire, to sign him because he's doing the job? They were, no, they're not wrong. Mm. Yeah, they were not wrong. If they can, okay, well, they can afford him because you know, they still have him right now. So mm-hmm. if you do the thing over there, mm. fine and dandy with me. I got so no issues. Arsenal has moved on from Aubameyang. Absolutely. And your former guys are scoring goals. Oliver Giroud the other day scoring... A double yeah. in the Milan derby. Giroud is very much for my for my Akitambo. Giroud was wrong. Giroud rooked the the town. Yeah, <laughs> we went, went from north to west. Blue side. Left west, yes. Oh, fuck him, man. Left to west. <laughs> oh, fuck Giroud. <laughs> Giroud alikuwa <laughs> flop at Arsenal, but then and, and you think he's sound. There's a time he when you are losing the 15-16 season. Yes. That's the time he stopped scoring from January. Yes. And that's where Leicester went to yes. the league. Yes. I love to when I'm kumbuka, what? Nothing. I would rather take kumbuka. Okay, again, Van Persie, another snake. <laughs> because I don't know who's the biggest snake here. Between Giroud and Van Persie. Van Persie went to, you know, United won the league over there. Mm. But at least uh, Sir Alex did as a solid one. I'll talk at the next season. Mm. That was good. <laughs> Absolutely enjoy that. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so we had Son and Ken. Mm. A bit moving off from the top four. Uh, Son and Ken, they have now equaled the record for the most goals by you know two players mm. who play in the same team like a duo. Mm. Uh, they have 39 goals, you said? Yeah, 39. 39 goals. I believe they're 39, yes. Equaling yes, the yes. record, which they might actually break because mm. we have like uh, 15 more games to go. Mm. Uh, record set by Drogba and Lampard, and Lampard. at Chelsea. Mm. I mean, I, 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 have you looked at that list? I think, do you have it in front of you? No, no, I don't. The know. list mm. for for that for the Deadly combination duos. deadly mm. duos. Mm. They have surpassed Henry and uh, was it Lumberg? Mm. I think it was Henry and Lumberg. I mean, they have surpassed um, mm. hey, some some crazy names that are there. Mm. I, I was looking at it. Hey, some, some, hey, some crazy names. It's, it's some. It, it's a fantastic record for them. The, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah the, 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 those Rooney gigs. Mm. I think they surpassed Rooney gigs. Mm. So, hey, the names that are there, you know, big are names, mm. big names, which got me thinking. Like in Europe, which is the other deadliest? Which 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 one would you say is the deadliest duo? There is uh, Third Son and Ken. Mm-hmm. There is La Liga. There is uh, Benzema, Benzema Vinicius. Vinicius. Yes. Mm. Uh, there is uh, Bayern Munich. There is uh, Lewandowski and uh, Thomas Muller. Mm. Mm, which other one have I left? It's like how last season we had Lukaku and Martinez. Mm, 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 which mm, one would you say right now is the deadliest? Well. Are we going to compare them with the goals that they have scored or pound for pound they can really... Ha, hands don't have to be the goals because it's, it's all about the goals. Okay, right now, mm. yeah, how can you beat this too? Because I can tell you, I can tell you about um, Honry Mbappe. No, not Honry Mbappe, sorry. Mm. Messi Mbappe. Mm. But they haven't equaled the goals. No, they but haven't. can you imagine if they start getting Into to the goals. gelling? Yeah. They're mm. going to have... They're going to have now, the challenge, the challenge that Son and Kane are having is that mm. Highest combined, combined uh, goal Goals. scoring partnership, mm. but yet you guys haven't won any yeah, title. Nothing yeah. to show. Have nothing to show. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah. No, mm. I look at that as as a, as, a, as a Manchester United, as a Man City, mm. you know, as a big team, as even Barcelona, mm. if they can afford, as Bayern Munich, mm. as Inter Milan, mm. as Real Madrid, mm. even as PSG. Mm. I'm like, why can I not go for that combination? Ah, why should I pick one of them? Yeah, mm. no, take it. They take the combination. Take the two of them. Yeah, just take the two of them. Mm. I mean, they're already in tandem, working very well. Just take the two of them. Mm. Sometimes, you know, you try and explain this to the board. The board are like, ah, no, I think what we have, is what enough? we have, Bruno mm. and uh, yeah. Bruno and, and Cristiano and is Cristiano. okay mm. until <laughs> they start throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> but this, yeah. but these guys. Mm. I mean, they, how many seasons have they been together? I think five. Hey, they've been there for a minute. Five, six mm. seasons, right? Five, six seasons. Yeah. Yeah, even when... W- yeah, yeah. Five, six seasons. Mm. So, you c- and before that, uh, th- there was no combination because Harry Kane was, uh, was, uh, uh, was a youth, was a youth member of Tottenham mm. and uh, Song was not there. Was Stuart Hoffenheim mm. where he was picked from there. Yes. Yeah, so they're doing all right. Like mm. Vinicius and Liona, he's the second, no, third highest scoring player mm. in La Liga. In La Liga. After, mm. after Benzema. Mm. Benzema has Nika, Nika Mosala. Benzema has the most goals and most assists. Yes. Mm. And then, can it be more of a farmer's league, that one? No, 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 no. I, I, just, I, know. I just think what happened, I think COVID really affected La Liga. And, and, and in terms of getting, yeah, in terms okay. of getting uh, good players and also in terms of the training regimen, mm. trust me, it brought a problem because before COVID, mm. you would not look at Valencia 
and ignore them. Right now, Valencia back. You didn't look. You didn't look at Villarreal. Back, they're bottom of the. the nah. Mali, Sana. Wako Valencia, Valencia, number seven. Uko nane? Yeah, but they're, yeah. they're they're coming up. That's the thing. How yeah. many sleeping giants are in La Liga? Okay, you've got Valencia. You've got uh, Deportivo La Coruña. You've got Villarreal. Deportivo should uh, be even the most. Okay, okay. Yeah. to China Depot. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Villarreal, Valencia. Valencia. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Atletico Bilbao. Atletico Bilbao, oh, yeah. who have slept for a very long time. Yeah, long time. Lala, yeah. Lala, yeah. They have been quite asleep. You see, yes. higher. Let's look at Ligue One. How many farmers? How, how many? How many sleeping giants are there? Marcel, well, uh, Monaco, 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 Monaco. Oh. Mm. Olympic Lyonnais. Yeah. Yeah. Monaco. Mon- Monaco are number what in that league? By mm. the way, let me be checking so, out. So when guys say about farmers' league. Mm. Yeah. I I I think for me it it comes down to fi- financial parity mm. and which team can afford the best players. Yes. Luckily for the Premier League, mm. we have so many giants that have have woken. Mm. The ones who are going to sleep have gone to sleep for good. Yes. You know the likes the likes the big time likes of Leicester, mm. uh, the big time likes of Everton. Mm. Mm. Uh, if you look at um, West Ham, oh, not not West Ham, mm. Aston Villa, Aston Villa. So mm. And then there have been those Newcastle. New ca- good God Almighty, Newcastle mm. man. Yeah. Hey, Monaco are sixth. Mm. Monaco are sixth. Mm. 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 Ol- uh, Olympic Lyon, eighth. Marseille, mm. second. Um, uh, nice, third. Lille. Uh, former champions. Lille, former champions. They are Aquavia, eleventh. Jesus Christ! Wow. Yeah, so get, it's crazy. At a big level, come on, they're playing today, right? Yeah, yeah they're against Chelsea. Yeah, against Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. So all right, all uh-huh. right. So that's that. So the deadliest duos, I think. Uh, I would give it to, of course, Son and Ken, and then, of course, I would go with uh, Benzema and Vinicius. Benzema and Vinicius, mm, they're doing mm, beats mm, over there. Mm, mm. All right. Uh, now, going away from the big teams, let's come back closer to these other mediocre ones. Mm. Okay, I don't want to call them mediocre, that, that's mm. a bit unfair. Mm. But you get the point. Mm. Brighton, mm. they were playing against uh, Burnley mm. at home. Mm. Amex Stadium got clapped 3 0. Mm. I mean, who would have seen that coming? It's it's a simple formation. It's a four four two, mm. big men up front. Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make sure your wingers, the likes of Lennon, are distributing the ball inside and mm. just hold the midfield. Lennon actually it's, scored, man. Yeah, and Lennon did. scored. Fantastic yeah. over there. Wow. You see, wow. so yeah. Um, wow. And that took took out um, uh, Brighton's plan because mm. you know Brighton will press. Brighton and Southampton are one of the fittest teams mm. in the Premier League. Mm. But you can have all the runnings in the world, but if you don't have the basics against a team that is playing 4-4-2, four, <coughs> four, mm. the most basic of formations, for, football, they will yeah. hurt you. They will. Vegas doesn't need to run that fast. He just no, needs he to doesn't. get the ball in the day and yeah. shoot it a yeah. good yeah. one. Yeah. Or just <laughs> get, get a cross yeah. and he just jumps and he scores with the hand. And, mm. and if you see at the transfer, it was a like-for-like <laughs> change. Mm. Chris Wood out, yeah. Vegas in. Mm. Yes. Wood has done nothing so far. Mm. Hasn't uh, scored a goal yet. And Akula Tugu Mshara uko Newcastle. Kula tuza barere za warabu. All right, uh, so they beat them three 0 Yes, mm. I think Brighton are also not helped by the fact they don't have clinical strikers. Kina yeah. Mope, I can't remember the last time he scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the yeah. other striker? Um, yeah, they have Welbeck. They have Trossard. They have Welbeck. They have Trossard. Trossard. Trossard came back from an injury. Mm. Yeah. Um, there, there was a lot of expectation for him in that game against Manchester United. Mm. Came back from an injury. Yeah. Um, I even had him in my FBL squad. Yeah. Uh, he, oh, you had him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Didn't do shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess. I guess now in the fi- in the final third of the season, mm. you know, a decent top ten would work for them. For Brighton. But the problem, I'm telling you, the problem. If you're number twelve going down. Everyone yeah. is pulling you, pulling you down into that relegation fight. Yes. Look Wala. at Everton. Mm. Look at Leeds. Mm. All yeah. of a sudden, you lose one game. Kuja, mm. Kuja, Chidi, yeah. Kuja. Yes. Right on our work on advantage. I think they are eighth. Mm. Yeah. No, they are ninth. Mm. They are ninth mm. or tenth up or after, alongside. After, 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 after Spurs. Oh, after Spurs. Spurs, then Brighton or Southampton. One is above mm. the other. Can't mm. the other one. Mm. One team that is also going down, a bit slowly but surely, is Aston Villa. Mm. Villa is your man how many games without winning? Yeah, they had a very good run with when, when, when Gerard, Gerard came, came in, they, like new manager bounce. managers bounce and everything. Yeah. But all of a sudden, the man, the results, have check in. results are just going not their way at the but moment, man. They, they have not been doing well. They got clubbed by Watford mm. at Villa Park. Villa Park, yes. Watford yes. who, well, they were not like the best team. That no, game, it, it, it just showed experience is, yeah. uh, is, be, uh, is, is, is well, that day experience was better than youth. Yeah, they must have had one over the student. Over the mm. student, yes. I was, I was Th- expecting... 30 I mean, years difference in age. In the, mm. Between the two? 30, between the two. Fucking 43 hell. and 73. Mm. Jesus. Yes, because by the time Steven Gerrard was being born, this guy was already managing mm. in yeah. the 70s yeah. and early 80s. Jesus yeah. Christ. So mm. yeah, let me see the form here, uh, Aston Villa, because I feel like they have been doing terribly. Yeah. They have been yeah. terrible. Yeah. One. I th- the last two games were in that, right? I, Coutinho coming in, obviously. Yeah, fresh of F- a mm. breath of fresh air. Wants yeah. to prove a point. The way he plays. Even Jacob Ramsey. Yes. Yeah. But all of a sudden, man, the goals have just dried up. Totally. 
Uh, so yeah, lost to Watford last weekend. Before that, they lost to Newcastle. Before and, that, and they that drew. They mm. drew with Leeds United the three-three. Mm. Thing after that, in your Alikwame Toka beating uh, Everton. The Everton, one yes, one yes, yes. yes. Alikwame yeah. Toka one year studio. Yes, yes. Uh, before then, they drew two-two with United, mm. and uh, you beat them in the FA. Mm. Before that, they had been beaten by Brentford. Mm. Hey, Akochini, mm. mm. Yeah, Aston something, is, something seems to be amiss. Yeah. Mm. Well, something, no, something is off. All, all, all I think that Stephen G needs to do is realize that that atmosphere he had at Rangers mm. is not the same as he's going to have an Aston Villa. Mm. You're not going to have an easy game against Dundee United mm. here in the Premier League. Yes. No. Yeah, Every sure. team that comes to play is mm. playing for points, mm. for championships, mm. for, you know, for recognition, mm. for mm. coefficients, for everything. For everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. The difference, you know, when you're playing in the Scottish Premier League and you have the likes of Dundee United, uh, Motherwell, Hibanian, mm. uh, you get... Uh, Yes, they, they can't even compete with you financially. Yes. Yes. The only person who's competing with you is Celtic. Celtic, Celtic yes. Mm. Sour. Mm. You come to the Premier League, your Aston Villa, Wolves can compete with you. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. start from Wolves. Yeah. Everton mm. can outbeat you yes. in, in, in terms of signings. Yes. Mm. They have the money. Yes. Mm. Newcastle all of a sudden is, is, I think, number two in the Premier League, not number one, mm. in the amount of money they have. Yes. So all of a sudden, every, every weekend, you're playing against heavyweights, mm. whether you like it or, or not. not. Yeah. Yeah. So now go back to the drawing board and to those coaching budgets that you received mm. and see how you can make it happen. Yeah. That's all I believe. Hey, in in induction, like your Premier League to becoming the next manager at Liverpool. Eh? Yeah. Hey, it's going to be it's going to be it's tricky. Going to be, it's tricky. going to be tricky. Okay, and they like Elna. Because Premier League clubs, you know, they, they fire quite fast. I mean, yeah. you saw what happened to Lampard. Uh, yeah. Lamp, Lampard did so well with Derby County. Mm. Yeah. He got into Chelsea when they had a ban on mm. on on, on, on transfers. Training in, yeah, mm. transfers. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. worked with the youth. Then all of a sudden, Abramovich is like, the ban is over. Mm. My yeah. players mm. gave me the title. Mm. Yeah. Guy yes. did not get the title. Yeah. Chapala. Vamos. Chapala. Yeah, mm, gone. 200 them. Uh, gone down the drain for them. All right. So uh, Gerard has to get his shit straight. Yes, yes, yep, yes, yep, yes, yep, yes. He has yep. to, and very fast. Yes. Mm, because mm. he's 12th right now. Mm. I think when they came, when he came, could some point they were top half. Mm. There's some point time they were in the top half. Mm. Yeah, yes, now, yeah. Uh, now they're sliding. Now they're sliding. Now they're sliding down. Yeah, they're sliding. So as you get down Slippery to number 15, Uko, uh. like you're saying, you're getting dragged down. Like ah, yeah. Yeah. Dog fight, yes. The moment yeah. you're number 15, yeah. it's a wrap. Mm. You are in shit. You're Burnley in has two games in hand, wins both games. Yeah. Burnley are number 16. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you're Newcastle and Mejitoa from those bottom three. Yeah, all mm. of a sudden. They have not lost in the last four games. They're on what, 20, 23, 24 points. Let, let me check. Yeah, they have. Uh, they have yeah, got they the bottom three. They, they have the, the bottom, bottom three, three. Mm. with uh, three points with three points safety. Mm. Yeah, yeah, three points safety. I uh, believe. If, uh, if I'm, if I'm, I, I guess. I when their corrected. first, uh, first three after Nani came in, mm -hmm. no, there's a point they were winning before the last game. They had won yep. three yes. in yep. that yep. 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 For yep. The first time in three years. Mm. Then of course against West Ham, we were thinking, okay, Mpigua Kwanza, maybe this one is going down the drain. Mm. The, the equalizer, Joe Willock. Yeah, Joe Willock. Yeah. Which got me thinking, but you got Joe Willock. Mm. What could you be thinking of right now? I mean, Nico Club on a dough. Mm. I'm performing. Mm. I'm young. Mm. Must be thinking like I should cement my place here. No, it's all. It's, it's all. There's it's, a big future yeah, for me. Here. It's all about cementing your place. It's mm. all about um, uh, looking to the sides, looking to experience. You have, if you look to your sides, you mm. have John Joe Shelby. You have Isaac Hayden. Mm. You have um, this other guy, um, G Jeff Hendricks. Yeah. So Joe Linton. Uh, Joe Linton yeah. again. Mm. So you learn from them, but more importantly. You cement yourself. Look at yeah, yourself. You to, Can I play as a number 10? Mm. Mm. Can I convert uh, all of a sudden with Eddie Howe coming in? Can I be that number 10? Yes. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, Can yeah. I be that channel just in front of John Joe Shelby mm. and whoever is the defensive midfielder if it's yeah. Isaac Hayden? Yeah. 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 And, and I think he also needs to, I mean, to whatever take his chances because you see they've mm. got St. Maxima there. They brought in Chris Wood. Yeah. Uh, they have Miguel Almiron. Uh, yeah, well, Miguel Almiron. Much, but, I mean, you know. they brought in this I mean, Brazilian guy. Yeah, Gu Gimeres, Bruno Guimaraes. Gu mm. So I mean, I think he needs to take his chances score goals and yeah. just remind the manager I'm here to stay I'm young I've got time on my side Yes, I can be the goal scorer you're looking for yeah because I think he has already done that with the fans because yes. of the the, uh, the cameo he had last season yeah. was, I think the half season yes. he did that with the fans but now he needs to do that with the fans again mm -hmm. and with the manager yes with the but, manager but yes. if there's a great escape for us for sorry for Newcastle, mm -hmm. one thing is for certain in the in the in the transfer window in September in uh, in August mm. the defense mm. Oh, Fabian Shah yeah. is out of his is out of his weight. Mm. Yeah. Jamal Lascelles mm. yeah. is out of his weight. Mm. Uh, who else is there? Um, they're, they're like Kraft, three of them. Kraft, Kraft, no, Kraft is on the is on the right. Mm. I'm talking about uh, CBs. Mm. Oh, ah, yeah. they, they, they need two straight up centre backs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they need that. You they, said Fabian yeah. Shah. Mm. Fabian Shah, yeah. Mm. And also uh, they need a goalkeeper. Mm. 
you I mean like it's not good enough nah, it's not it, him and Dalo I don't think uh, Dalo by the way alikuwa anazishika it's fine but if you aim now to go into top 10 into top 6 top 7 that uh, you need a revamp there mm. but I think in my opinion with, they will start with the center backs I feel like for them those are yeah, I think for me backs. I think for me I those agree with you the center backs are a yeah. problem yeah, mm. yeah they are yeah, because mm. go, I mean from the midfield going forward I think they're okay mm. but the center backs I, I mean it doesn't help if your goal scorers or if your strikers are scoring goals mm. but your center backs are also leaking goals yeah. and then and then have a word with Saint Maximan keep him fit let him understand he can finish a game mm-hmm. he's a he's a prized possession yeah. mm-hmm. on the left wing mm-hmm. just manage him and mm-hmm. you're going to get out of this yeah yeah mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Ryan Fraser yeah. he's, he's kicking them in mm-hmm. so that's good I, I, newcastle are not going down yeah mm-hmm. when, um, when you look at their midfield who would you say would be like the first person to be kicked out could i join jo because they're definitely going to kick out someone mm-hmm. they're, they're i don't know from from me has to be uh, jeff hendrix uh, jeff hendrix hendrix, hendrix. Mm-hmm. hendrix. Mm-hmm. isaac hayden Hayden is a defensive midfielder. They need a defensive midfielder. Mm. If maybe they are going to play with three in the middle. Mm-hmm. Hayden will be important. Yeah. For me Hendrix, yes, he'll be he'll be a good rotational player. Mm. If not you're like going a key to key. No, 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 not like us. Starting for me it would be what was the, the name of that chap? Uh Gimerish. Yeah, Bruno Gumares, Gumares, Brazilian. Gumares, John Joe Shelby, mm. Isaac Hayden. But they also need to make sure that uh, Nani comes back very quickly. Yeah, Kieran Trippier. That guy is, is scoring goals. Oh, Trippier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's out injured. They're saying it's what a broken metatarsal. Yeah. Mm. So they're trying to so see the earliest he can come back is April, right? Is April, yeah. God damn. Yeah, metatarsals are very I mean, remember what happened to Wayne Rooney in 2006 mm. and even David Beckham, but I mean that guy, mm. I think he could be the guy who could just save their season because apart from defending He's also scoring goals. Yeah, he's also yeah. scoring yeah. goals, especially yeah. those free yeah. kicks. Yeah. 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 I think I think after Je- uh, James Ward Prowse, I think uh, Trippier has been has a, been there. A little yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cheki, kuna aso na sema Bruno is na Bruno Guimaraes is the best Bruno in the Premier League. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have the other Bruno. Can you actually clarify that for us? Uh, at, at this rate there's a lot of banter <laughs> going around yeah. until we see the boy playing mm. until we see him playing in in the heights that Bruno is playing yeah. until he scores that late winner and mm. I mean that late goal yeah. um like what he did again uh, with Brighton yeah. nah not, not gonna to, happen not I mean to, uh, until he scores after the final whistle has been blown again uh, and the <laughs> team scored back from the dressing group <laughs> until he's the king of penalties yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. he has a long way to go yeah. but I was also thinking about Newcastle if you look at someone like Eddie Howe Eddie mm. Howe has been through the trenches like you yes, know with yes. Bra- bone mouth uh, stuck there had uh, wakakuwa relegated akaenda chini na wakakuwa fired uh, did he go to another club after bone mouth nope no nope, nope, then nope. he went i think on a sabbatical or some yeah, sort yeah, yeah. Mm. then coming back to newcastle with mm. all that cash yes. you must also been thinking just like we look yeah. i need to get this team performing man as in i cannot be getting the best of players we have the money yeah i mean he i mean he's very ambitious i mean i think for Eddie Howe, the way i look at him Eddie Howe will want to coach newcastle for at uh, two seasons three seasons but probably he's looking at a big club in the future this yeah. guy who was being linked with, with the arsenal job yeah, before he was. came he's being linked with the so called big clubs because but how would you people like his football philosophy mm. but i'm just thinking maybe i think for newcastle it's more of an audition mm. let me see how far i can take them if i can take them to a top 7 top 8 job mm. why not probably who knows i can go and maybe coach arsenal or united or yeah. uh, man city when pep or even or, or this is the next leads, man city. by the way yeah this is the, this is the next man city why would you uh, want yeah why to... not by the way actually so i think it's more of an addition and mm. who knows who knows i mean this again i think was also being linked to the vacant england job at some point Oh yeah. Because of his simple philosophy by the way. So yeah. let's wait and see how, how 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 things will be with him. All right. Joe, would you be thinking of moving elsewhere when you are in a mega rich club like Newcastle? Nah. I'll be looking to cement myself as a legend. Luko. I mean, you look at yeah. you look at uh, Bobby, what was his name again? Bobby Robson. Robby, the Bobby Lips. Robson, the mm. late Bobby Robson. Mm. Um God rest his soul. You become a legend at a club. A club recognizing you Al- Alan Shearer for example. Yeah. He didn't get the best of starts in his management co- career. Mm at Newcastle but that's a different Newcastle at Newcastle now that has money Jones. that can improve its um youth setup in terms yeah. of the facilities yeah. the training and the recruitment mm. i mean your scouting range now would be wider it's not only in europe mm. you can even guys get guys in south america i mean he's done it he has already done it mm. with bruno mm. so why would i move why can't i not stay and know that i can make this team better mm. and then after that after you've created your legacy how old is he he is 39 or 38 mm. uh, maybe early 40s is that early old. 40s yeah yes. mm. then from there just Future go can he bright as yeah, fuck after man. that just go straight into the england job mm. after that i mean newcastle right now being the manager there mm. my friend the gods are smiling at you they mm. must be 
Mm. You must. I would be thinking I want to perform here, man. Mm. All right. Uh, so that's not the Premier League. Syria is heating up, man. Mm. I don't know if you guys have been following up with uh, with Syria. Mm-hmm. Title race again, Uko, Uko wide open, maybe mm. wider than the Premier League because yes. there are three teams going up for it. Uh, uh, Milan, mm. Inter Milan, mm. they lost over the weekend against Sassuolo, Sassuolo yes. mm. at mm. San Siro, mm. two nil. Mm. Unfortunately for Milan, they did not capitalize that much. Mm. At a car, the game, the Inter Milan game happened uh, after they had drawn with uh, Salanitana. Mm. Yes, yes. two two draw. Mm. Napoli again. Some guys who should have capitalized on those two teams uh, <laughs> flopping on Sato. Yeah. They drew yesterday. With Cagliari, uh. one or draw. Mm. That that title race is wide open. It's there. wide open right two now. Two points, uh, two points, yeah. Between yeah, between uh, mm. AC Milan and Inter Milan. I think mm. I jotted that. Yeah, down. yeah. it's yeah. two points. Milan, ha- Milan, AC have fifty-four. Mm. Fifty-four. Yeah. Inter have fifty. No, Milan have fifty-six. Mm. Fifty-six. Inter, Inter, Inter have fifty-four. Mm. Yeah. Napoli has fifty-four. Mm. Wow. Two points tight. between number one and three. Tight, tight. Atalanta Inter have a game in hand. And then Juventus. Juventus are fourth with forty-seven. I think those. But I'm gonna turn But that's the other thing. Mm. It's the other thing. Mm. You, we were talking about how wide the Premier League goes in December, mm. where where by December January, where by Pep had gone with yes. it. Mm. Yeah. But now look, it's again three points. Again mm. three points. Yeah. If Juventus can just get their form mm. and win. All their games, and mm. I tell you, win all their games. Mm. And then Napoli, Inter, and AC Milan go on drawing, drawing. Mm. <laughs> Come trouble. April, mm. there'll be a whole different story. Yeah, different story. But now the problem is, mm. Juventus are in the Champions League. Champions League. They are playing Champions tonight. League. Is it tonight or tomorrow? Tonight, uh, I think against Villarreal. Real. Yes, mm. tonight. Yeah. it's tonight. Yeah. So now the advantage that AC Milan have right there is mm. that me, I don't have to be sumbuliot by yeah. continental competition. Yeah. 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 Watch Let me gain my points. Yeah. Yeah. But if Juventus can balance Champions League and getting their form right in Serie A, mm. <laughs> the only problem with Napoli on about like in the last two games they have not won. Mm. Juventus, they, they have drew. Drawn. I think Atalanta won one. Yeah, in Turino. In Turino, no, in the Turin, in the Turin, Turin derby, derby, yes. Last mm. Friday. Yeah. So, Vlaovic again. Vlaovic, mm. where was he, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> where, what, what the hell was he? Two games not scoring and Juventus is not winning. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. for all that money to, you know, to yeah, be doing that yeah. kind of work. Yeah. And, then, and then you see now, what I'm scared uh, about Juventus mm. is that you, Big Will mm. and Yash, if you remember, mm. I think the season was the mm. 2008-2009 or 2009-2010. When they completely were ob- were out of even Syria A, they were in Syria B. Mm. The well, format yeah. lost. Okay, that was because of obviously the do- their scandal. dodgy, yeah. Yeah. the Kadoji yeah. scandal. Like you put, you said it's there. Kaliopol, uh, the Kaliopol scandal. Mm. Yeah. So, but it took them three to four seasons to be back yes. where they were. Mm. Okay, mm. now if they start again losing that momentum. Mm. They need to start working on their defense. Uh, uh, Bonucci, no. Bonucci, and uh, and Chiellini. Uh, Chiellini, it's yeah. a wrap. But then they are out of the. But I can tell you for free. No one wants Juve to win the I mean, this league again. They've won it for the last seven, eight years before Inter won it. Yes, they're the most successful team in Italy. Mm. I mean, just like how I mean, Manchester United are the most successful team in England. Mm. So I think most fans in, in Italy would rather t- want to see either Inter. AC or Napoli win the league. Back winning, oh yeah. Yeah, not, mm. not, I mean, not Europe, Juve. not Juve, by the mm. way. But because no. if, if you think about it, when, when I started sporting Manchester United back in 1999, mm. and I was still a young kid, yeah. there's one team that I always used to hear about. Oh. If you if you watch on telly, oh. if you watch, you remember yeah. the German show, the yeah. German football show? Football Mini Germany. Come, football Mini Germany. Mm. Mm. Bayern Munich. Mm. Then if you listen to Syria, ah, I'm mm. an Italian football, mm. you just know AC Milan. AC Milan. Yeah. I have a soft spot for AC Milan. I, yeah. I, I can't, mm. uh, it's you just can, like, you can't help it. it's just like we have a soft spot for Barcelona. Mm. So, but mm. look at all these giants. Mm. Look yeah. at Manchester United, mm. my favorite club. Mm. Yeah. Look at all these giants. Mm. They are struggling. Mm. And Badly. that's why you'll see mm. new supporters, new fans, yes. being uh, mm. looking at it and saying, you know what, okay, let's go with this other team. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's think about right a Napoli. Let's yeah. think about an Atalanta. Mm. You know, yeah. mm. let's think about a Fiorentina or something like that. Yeah. 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 Because Napoli have also bottled, I think, the league for the last two, three seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have. And, and guys are getting bored. And guys yeah. are getting bored yes. of them. Yeah. Their captain is going, to, is going to America. Yeah, in senior. In senior. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. get it. Though. They have quality, though. Mm. The, the attacking wise, they have quality. Yes. Midfield, we have Fabian Ruiz, Zielinski. Mm. At the back, they still have uh, Kulibali. 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 Did you see his tackling last week mm. in the game? In the in the in the Napoli Barcelona game? Yes, 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 mm. yes. Did you see? No, I didn't. I didn't catch. You, you didn't watch the game. Mm. A guy still got it. I don't yeah. know. Why, I don't know why no one has gone after him mm. in the Premier League. I don't he still it. has a decent three mm. more years. Yes, yes. So yes. like they have a well balanced squad. How I they think. don't? How they don't just get over the line? We yeah. Don't know. yeah, yeah. Ah. Speaking of Barca. Mm. Yeah, speaking how of you Barcelona, doing? Yeah. how you doing? I was actually going to go to La Liga. La Liga, Barcelona are playing. Obamian scored a hat trick. Another one. Alipo hat trick after game, Mesha. 
Have you ever heard of that? He has a hat trick. He has a hat trick. Yes. Did he score two or three goals? Did he score two or three goals? He scored two, or three goals. He scored two goals. Yeah. Alafu after game, Moka Semo ile bao by then yako shika. Yeah. Then was he was given the match, match ball luko <laughs> kwa, kwa dressing room. So, three goals though. So when he debuted when you when he debuted for which team was this in Fran- he was playing in France before he went yeah, to Saint-Etienne. Germany. Yeah, Saint-Etienne. Saint-Etienne. Yeah. yeah. Hat-trick. 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 Went to Borussia. Hat-trick. 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 Went to Arsenal. Hat-trick. 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 Yeah. Barcelona. Hat-trick. Hat-trick. He's the first person to do that in the 21st century. Mm. Yes. Wow. Wow. No, my record. my question my question to you would mm. be what happened mm. to that Aubameyang yeah. in Arsenal? He stopped scoring. No, you can't say that. Mm. But he did. Mm. I mean, how many games did he go without scoring at Arsenal? This season before he's holding. Leave it alone this season. Last season. Last season. A whole season. So do you think Barcelona were wrong to hire, to sign him because he's doing the job? They were no, they're not wrong. Mm. Yeah, they were not wrong. If they can okay, well, they can afford him because you know they still have him right now. So mm. if you'll do the thing over there, mm. fine and dandy with me. I got so no issues. Arsenal has moved on from Aubameyang. Absolutely. And your former guys are scoring goals. Oliver Giroud the other day scoring a double yeah. in the Milan derby. Giroud is very much for my for my Kitambo. Giroud was wrong. Giroud rook at the the town. Yeah, <laughs> went, went from north to west. Blue side. Uh, west, yes. Oh, fuck him, man. North to west. <laughs> oh, fuck Giroud. <laughs> Giroud <laughs> alikuwa flop at Arsenal but then and, and you think it's sound there's a time he, when you are losing the 15 16 season. Yes. That's the time he stopped scoring from January. Yes. And that's where Leicester went to yes. the week. Yes. What? Nothing. <laughs> I would rather attack Kumbuka. Okay, again, Van Passi, another snake. <laughs> Because I don't know who's the bigger snake here. I think Giroud and Van Passi. Van Passi went to, you know, United won the league over there. Mm. But at least uh, Sir Alex did as a solid one. I'll talk at the next season. Mm. That was good. <laughs> Absolutely enjoy that. Absolutely enjoy that. Uh, Javi, so, yeah. Javi had a talk next season. No, nah, at least Obama. Nani baki bad yeah. Obama. Would you say Barcelona starting to gel now? I mean, we saw them beating uh, that 4-1 win. Is, was it 4-1? Mm. Against, against Valencia, Valencia. yes, for mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Previously, I think they had, they drew with Espanyol from a losing position. Mm-hmm. They're almost losing. Mm-hmm. It, it, what is Napoli. it? Napoli. Napoli drawing again. Ataka, mm. you know, Ferran Torres did the thing. Akauza. Yes. Mm. This is the starting now to. I, st- I, st- I still think the jury is out. By the way, if they mm. can go on a run of winning six, seven matches in a row, then we can say they're turning then, around. Yeah. Then because Barca have also had too many draws and late draws, whereby mm. Barca are scoring, but then in the 87th, 88th minute, mm. they I mean, they consider sucker punch. I mean, now imagine how many points Barca would have had had they converted those draws into into wins. Into wins. A lot. Be probably in the number three. Number three or two. Yes. There. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, or even two. Because maze na chiki number two, three <coughs> La Liga. At mm. Sevilla, Real Betis. Imagine. Real Betis will be good. Where is where is where is Atletico Madrid? Where is Barca? Hey. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is going on, man? For for me, I think and to your point about them gelling, mm. I like what Xavi has done. Xavi yes has come in and realized yes, I need to stock up on my attack. Mm. But what do I what do I have in La Masia? Mm. Mm. What do I have there? Mm. I have Pedri. Mm. I have Ricky Puch. Mm. I have I have Gavi. Mm. I have uh, Rico uh, Rico uh, Nico Rodriguez mm. who played. He who played Juzi uh, Pia. Yeah. So, or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so or, those are five <laughs> at, uh, those are five midfielders. Mm. Sasawa. In defense he took also a, 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 a La Messia player. I can't remember his name. Mm. But what he's doing is he's realizing, you know what? Yes. We don't have the financial parity to flex our muscles again. But mm. what we can do, mm. we've been training these boys for a minute. They can come in, they're coming in. Yes. But they're not performing in the in, in the La Liga. Mm. And, and like I said, Them and Atletico Madrid, it's time to start re- rebuilding. Mm. Atletico Madrid, unfortunately, don't have La Messia. Yeah, they don't. They have to now look for players outside mm. and the few ones that they can grow inside. Look at what, and I like you mentioned Atletico Bilbao. Mm. When you rely so much on your academy, yes. mm. there's so much you can grow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, and a few additions from outside now. But who? They, they normally just buy in they, the they Bal- buy f- from the Basque region. From the Basque region. Them and Real Sociedad, right? Yeah, Basque region. They don't buy from outside? They don't so buy players for example, from Catalonia or no, Andalusia no, 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 or Madrid. No, no, no. Are they from another league? No, 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 no. No, no. no you have gone even, you're going league. We are talking about same teams from, from in the Spain. same league. Mm. From Spain. For example, they're only buying players in Nairobi. Mm. Because they're a Nairobi-based club. <laughs> they can't buy players from Mombasa, Kisura, hey, Kuru. Nah. The they farthest they can go maybe is Kiambu. Kiambu. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so you see players like um what's his name like Munain, Munain Ika Munain, mm. they're, they're, they're legend striker. What was their, what was his, what was his uh, name? yeah, what was the what was guy's name by the way? Not Dem, no, can't recall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they have this other guy who looks like Dembele. Uh Usman Dembele. Uh, yeah, what's Ooh. his name? Inaki Williams? Inaki Williams. Mm. His brother has been brought in. Yeah, his brother plays there, Basque yeah, no. Region, mm. you see. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's why they're not that's why they're not growing. 
Yeah. Yeah, you'll grow in that region only, but you're but not growing in, in externally. In, in, yeah, you, I you think look the best at, they did was the time Walikwa. Is it Europa League? Yes. Is even the time did they knock you out? They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did. I don't think yeah, for Diego Simeone. I don't know. I've, I I mean I've got a feeling this could either be his last year mm. or second last year. I think I mean he's been there at, at, I mean Atletico for 10 years. 10. Won the league twice, won I think uh, the Europa I think once or twice. Mm. Not at the likes of Aguero, mm. Radamel Falcao, Griezmann. Uh, Griezmann. Yes. So maybe Saul. He, I think Saul Koke mm. I this could be his Diego Costa. Tried at the ground. This could be his last season, by the way. I mean, but, a manager but, staying there for 10 seasons. But mm. what does that say about the board? Mm. The board understand that this guy had a plan. Yes. He gave this guy time. Mm. And then he came and implemented. Yes. On the league. How many mm. clubs in Europe can say the same? Regardless, no, no, let's, even, even, let's not even talk about the Premier League. Because mm. Premier League, there's too much pressure. Mm. Which other team in Europe will give him that time? Ten years. Ten years. <coughs> it's not a Bayern Munich. Mm. It's not a Real Madrid. No, no, it's happen. not a Barcelona. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not a PSG. Mm. PSG, by the way, mm. uh, if this guy is not winning the se- not winning this season, he's yeah. gone. He's gone. Mm. Vamos. Vamos. Even if he wins the the league mm. and he doesn't get to the final of the Champions Temple League and wins it gone. and wins oh. it, right. he's gone. Yeah. If atle- if um, Diego Simeone comes to the Premier League, mm. if he decides and Manchester United, for example, decide to take him, we need to give him time. Yeah. And yeah. he needs to say, I don't want R- Ronaldo, I don't want Bruno, I don't want this, I want these guys, these guys are going to come. Mm. But then could that be a, like a perfect match? He's li- You're saying he's living? Probably. Uh, the way I'm looking at it, by the way, he, mm. he, he look, at, be look at the way Atletico are playing right now, by the way, and you could just feel this could wobbly, be the wobbly, the, wobbling mm. enough, yes. Mm. Could, be, um, could be his last season or two, by the way. And... United need a coach come the end of yeah. the summer. And, and, and in May, perfect, a perfect match. In May, we need a coach. That's 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 the most definitive thing mm. that is happening. Mm. In May, Manchester United needs no, a, a head coach. Yes. Mm. Sawa. Mm. Whether it's Hassan Holtul, mm. guys have been mentioning him. Yes. Pochettino, whether it's Pochettino, whether Ten now in a, who? Ten Hag. Ten Hag. Mm. Whether it's now Diego Simeone, we need a coach. Yeah. The problem, the headache now for Ragnik mm. is which coach is going to understand that we're transitioning from a British sort of playing style mm. to a more German-based. These guys did it very well. Yeah. I mean, no one could even recognize Brendan Rodgers or the former manager mm. after what Klopp did. Yeah. Look at Tunchel. Look at Chelsea. Chelsea forgot English football the moment Jose Mourinho got in. Mm. English football out of the window. Look, the window. Manchester City even didn't have an identity. My God! Mm. Before they came in, now, yeah. now they so do. Mm. The only team in the Premier League team who who are playing proper English football. Uh, you have to talk. You start talking about Which Everton. One? You have to start talking Brighton? about Aston Villa, Aston Brighton. Yeah, because yeah, of Porta, Porta yeah. effect. Um, top top seven. Who's playing? Uh, who's playing English football? Wolves. The way they play, that's not English. No, that's not English. That's Portuguese. Yeah. I, I think West Ham. And West Ham is because look at David Moyes. Because of Moyes, that's an old man who has his streaks on. Yeah, I think that's the closest to English football that the Premier League has. To look at the now. performance mm. where they are. Mm. So it's all about if he's going to come in, whoever is mm. going to come in, he's going to come in with a new identity from Ragnik above. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now the other speculation is if Ragnik fucks up a good one, mm. in the <laughs> he might even lose that. Even he wouldn't yeah, get the sporting director yeah. to yes. go <laughs> up to and go upstairs. <laughs> Speaking of consultants, I can't do it for that. To why are we hiring consultants? You should just get someone full time. You get a someone coach. who understands yes. his thing. Yeah. No, no, no. Director of football. Mm. Someone be- oh. one time. Mm. Director of football, uh, sports coordinator. Why are we? Why are we consulting? Because the director of football has to, has to, tax. Okay. The director <laughs> of football has to work in tandem with the head coach. It's fine, yeah. but why is he working on a consultant basis? Mm. He'll be working no. on a consultant basis as yes. the director of football. Yes. Think about it like Tottenham when they had Baldini. Mm. Baldini, director of football, done. Straight. Think about you guys, your director of football. Michael Who's Edwards. It? Michael Edwards. Yeah. You guys have Edu. Mm. We don't have a consultant. Mm. So, I'm going to any time if anything goes wrong, you can <laughs> just fire. Yeah. I mean, it come on, be. you have a consultant contract. Yeah, you can just so fire you anytime. The three, of us, um, the three of us, I'm sure, at one point in our lives, or even mm. as we speak, mm. we're working on consultant contracts. Yes. yes. That means tomorrow I can wake up and go and mm. you won't do anything to me. Yeah. yeah. Manchester United is not a Kalongo place. Mm. You're supposed to have signed in contracts. So mm. this idea of him being a consultant should stop. Yeah. Mm. Just He's coming in as a director yeah. of football yes. or head Done of football. Head of football too. Okay. Mm. All right. So that's that with uh league football. Let's let's check out on the Champions League. Okay, still league football, but you know, it's mm. a different level. And w- what you love about podcasts is you get to talk a lot. Like mm. totally express ourselves. This is not how we talk on radio. Yeah, absolutely. Radio to cock tailed under five minutes. Yes. Uh, so you have to squeeze in topics in those five minutes. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can just go freely free as for much all. as you want. You can yeah. say this is an extra. Yeah. That's what we call to it. To what extra. we do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Extra Digest, the name of yes. the podcast. All yeah. right. So Champions League football is back. Of course, we had last week some other games being played. We still have others being played today. Yeah, two today, two uh, tomorrow. Two today, two tomorrow, four fixtures in total. Mm. Uh, today we have, uh, is it Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea against Chelsea Lille. versus Lille. Yes. Chelsea, okay. Like you've been saying, they've been a bit, you know, hot and cold. Yeah. But, you know, they won the last game. Mm. Lille have been super cold. Mm. <laughs> in the league, good. Wow. I mean, they're just surprised that they won the, the, the league one the other league day. Last yes. season, yeah. and then now yeah. they, they are in the last sixteen. They're like, hey. yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was checking the last seven games, and they have won two only. Mm. Wow, two drawn two seven. and lost three. Mm. But they, did they, they not lose the coach that guided them to the title? Yes. They did lose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where did he go? I, 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 he went to another team. I think he went to. Is it Nets? Um, he went to another team mm. in the league in League One. Mm. This year, I'm a last this year. season. This season, yes, because I was checking the last seven games since the turn of the year. Mm. <sighs> they have won only two, man. That's mm. in Wakuchidi going mm. up. Now, the world now when you start changing world management, and the European champions, how do you start changing yeah. management to the with the person who mm. led you to a victory? The 11th, mm. the 11th. 11th. You can't say that of champions, can you? No, you can't. Unless who? I mean, the Matteo wins, wins you a league and a Champions League, and you fire and you get fired. Come, come on, yeah. come, come on. on. All right, so. I mean, against Chelsea, do they have a chance, Big Willy? No, I don't think so. I think on current form, unless they're really going to play out of their skins, mm. uh, to really and uh, to really to really put uh, Chelsea under pressure. Chelsea are not really playing that well, but I think Chelsea just have more aces in the pack, yeah, and they know how to grind out those European nights. So mm. I think Chelsea should win this one very comfortably. I think Chelsea's also mind mm. will be on the final of of the Carabao on Sunday. Oh yeah, there's that. They play also. Liverpool. There's mm. that also. Mm. I mean, the, the irony of this is. Lille have the highest scoring striker in Niligun, mm-hmm. Jonathan David. Mm-hmm. He has more goals, I think, even more than Mbappe, mm. last I checked. Mm. Can he do something against Chelsea? Am I your defense? Yeah, but oh. And, and um, but I'm kind of shocked. Chelsea finished second because mm. they're starting off at home. They finished there second in go. the group. There you go. Lille were top. Oh, Lille and, top, and right? today, and today they're, they're, they're playing home, yeah? So yeah, Chelsea, 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 so Chelsea at home, right? So yeah. Lille just need to break the defensive line. Lille have a chance to score, I believe. With Jonathan David, yes, I think I, they I believe. Have. Do you know, I, I believe w- because they're going to play on their counter-attack. Mm. Now, Lille are very good on the counter-attack. They are very pacey. They have a very pacey striker and the attacking midfielder is not a joke. I forgot his name. Mm. What Chelsea should be careful of is if they are going to play a pressing game mm. or a high line. Mm. Ah, John, uh, what's his name again? Jonathan, Jonathan David. David. Jonathan, Jonathan David, David is yes. going to teach them a lesson. Canadian. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the thing. If they're going to play a high line, mm. Chelsea are going to have a problem. Now, the other way of looking at it is, mm. can Chelsea finally convert these chances that they are getting? Mm. Clear-cut chances. Mm. So uh, we're talking about front goal, you and the goalkeeper, mm. or you and the last defender. Mm. Yes. Lukaku can do that. Mm. If Lukaku can do that today, revert to a false nine. Mm. Yeah. You have the fastest attacking midfielders in the Premier League, if not in Europe. Mm. Look at Kai Havertz. I don't know, I don't know if the, most of them are injured or they're still fit. Mm. Kai Havertz, mm. uh, Pulisic. Mm. Uh, we're Mount. talking about... Uh, um, Is Mount on? Mount. Mount. In a minute. Mm. We're mm. talking about Mount. We're mm. even talking about, to some extent, Tivo mm. I don't know if, if he's injured or not. Mm. But we're looking at pace that can obviously destabilize uh, the little defense. Yeah. Yeah. And then just finish the ball. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, but there's a slight correction, Nani. Uh, General David is the second highest scoring striker. Mm. He's after Ben Yeda. Mm. Ben Yeda. Ben Yeda for Monaco. For Monaco. He has 14 mm. goals. Mm. Then there are four guys with 12 goals: Mbappe, mm. uh, and Jonathan David, and two other guys from I think Strasbourg. Mm. Mm. Strasbourg, yeah. by the way, fourth. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. Strasbourg are fourth. Fourth. In Ligue mm. One. Ligue One. All right. Oh. Still early days, but that's that. So I, I don't expect much from uh, Lille, to be honest. Mm. So okay. most likely is the Chelsea win here. Mm. Yeah, I was about to take over and ask you what's your <laughs> prediction. <laughs> I remember, wait, 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 Joe, you're the All other right. side. Uh, no, prediction. No, no, no. Uh, Let's go with you. What, what do you say is your prediction for this one? Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at uh, a draw. A draw? Yeah. At Stamford Bridge? Yes. Yeah, it's a Ligue 1 team that is 11th. Yeah, you, they can be 11th in Ligue 1, but this is the Champions the League. Game. In the Champions, this is the Champions League. League. Mm. But I'm. And thinking. we and we have seen. And here's the other thing. We have seen what they did over the weekend. Um, mm. Chelsea. One mm. nil against Crystal uh, Palace. Crystal Palace. Yes. 89th minute. In the 89th. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. 89th minute. Yes. yes. They are still thinking about Sunday against these juggernauts. Yes. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Their might mind be, might be a different ball game. Yeah. Their, their mind. Be. If their mind today is not in this game, mm. this game is going to end in a draw. Yeah. If their mind in this, in this game properly, it's going to be a Chelsea win. But for me, I see a draw. A draw. May I yeah. say two nil win for Chelsea. Two nil win for Chelsea. Mm. Uh, then another interesting game. I think this one is even more interesting than the Chelsea one. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's Villarreal versus Juventus. Now, Oof. this is a game which is going to be very interesting. This one is, I think, two teams that are almost equal, if not equal. How did Juventus sell, though, Kulosevsky? What's his name? Kulosevsky. Kulosevsky. Has he been doing much? And Bentacol. Maybe he's not given my, much time. Like Bentacol has, has impressed so far for Spurs, hey, man. Bana, you How many goals has he scored? It's about goals. Also, his, 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 work, rate. his work rate, yeah. his forward runs, his off I the ball play. I didn't see him play. against Wolves, though. Mm. Against Wolves, he was... Yeah, they lost 2-0, right? No, against Wolves, he came in as a sub. I didn't start? hear first half. No, 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 yeah, no. Conte have subbed in the first half when they were oh, going okay, down. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Because yeah. this was his first uh, appearance, full debut. Uh, the one he did against City. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 So yeah, there might be that. Yeah. So, so Villarreal. Mm. They, I was looking at their at their record, and they have uh, only lost twice in their last ten games. Wow. They have in those ten games they have played against uh, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, uh, Real Betis, mm. Real Sociedad. Mm. Some of the big teams, of it course, in, 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 La Liga. in La Liga. Mm. And I'm looking at that, and I'm looking also at Juventus, how they've gone the last two games. I'm thinking, Villarreal have a chance here. Yeah. Villarreal even beat Atalanta to be in the round of 16. Before. Yes. And they're almost and, getting and knocked out. And you know who they gave scares. And they gave you a lot of scares at Old Trafford. Yeah. Well, you know, they have been our arch enemy of, of European yeah, <laughs> competition yeah, yeah. for the last four seasons. Yeah. I mean, like in the two games in the Champions League. Um, they beat them, I think, one game. Uh, we beat them one, and then the other one, I think, we drew. Yeah, drew. I have to yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Villarreal, they, they are looking good. They are looking solid. That's it's been, it's been, been, it's been played at... Uh, Villarreal. Villarreal. Yes. El, El Madrigal. Mm. Mm. Juve, Kidogo. And the, Juve will be missing their two juggernauts in the mm. back. Mm. Uh, Bonucci and Kelly. And Kelly. So, they love uh, Deli, they Deli love Delit and... and uh, uh, who the other guy who plays as a centre-back for them? I don't know who the other guy is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so, th- this game, I'm thinking Villarreal might actually kind of... Nikkei, you have a chance here. Yeah, do you, don't think, you think? I think I think I'll go for a two-one win for Villarreal. Mm. Oh, yeah. I would also say the same. Yeah, I, I I'm not so convinced about Juventus this season. Mm. I'm not really that convinced. Mm. I know they beat uh, Chelsea, I think, in the group stage. Yeah, they did. Yes, but they just don't look for me like the complete. This Italian teams are all looking very dodgy. I don't know. Maybe it's because we beat uh, Inter, Inter last week at the San Siro, but. Mm. Not really convinced about these Italian teams. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 looking at Juventus trying to drag a draw. A draw? To take it back to Turin. Yeah, and, and there's no away goals, it's just that yeah, home yeah. advantage. Yeah, let's mm. just remind our listeners there are no away goals. There are no still, away yeah. 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 But th- that's what I'm saying. Home advantage is important. At at Turin, mm. you get Juventus just lit up. Mm. So for me, I don't I don't think Juventus are going to be defeated. Mm. I think they're going to go and drag a draw. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna support our former manager here. Like straight up, mm. Unai Emery, man. <laughs> I think no, but, will be but supporting what him. Unai Emery has done at Villarreal, Yo. I think. I, th- I don't sorry, know. How, uh, and, and I don't know how they are not the top four by we, the We can't create Liga. comparisons with obviously mm. uh, Diego, Diego, uh, Diego Simeone. Diego Simeone, mm. but he comes second mm. to what he's done to Villarreal since yeah, he left. Yeah. Since yeah. he left Arsenal, mm. yeah, he comes second. No, but this is, I mean, this is a very experienced manager. I remember, he's won the. Europa League with Sevilla. Yeah, three yeah. Times, he knows yes. his way about through Europe. So yeah. there's not a guy you can really just uh, discard away. And mm. you can see Newcastle came for him when they're in that period of the Champions oh, League. Looking for, yeah. And they said, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I can't take a team. I've got a game on this day and you're approaching me. Mm. And he, um, he he turned down the overtures of a rich club. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. They are six in the La Liga standings. Mm. Uh, three points below Barcelona. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they okay. still have, I mean, Moreno, Chiqueze. Yeah. Mm. Very good team. Yeah. Can't rule them out. Good team. So this is going to be an interesting game for sure. Yes. I think I'll be watching this one over the Chelsea one. Mm. Then we have tomorrow, the big one. Atletico Madrid <laughs> versus Man United. <laughs> Atletico is another team in the La Liga standings. They have been wobbly as fuck. Yes. These guys, they have won only three in their last eight. With, I think, is it four red cards? In the midst of all that. Yes, yes. They're not winning. They lost no last, di- last week to Levante 1-0, yes. remember? And, the, and yeah. then a goal disallowed, which yeah. I thought was, why, why was the goal disallowed? Yeah. They're not winning and they have no discipline. Mm. Against United side that, well... You make what the you guys have been. That United, an, mm. a United team that was will saved by Ronaldo to be where they are right now in the Champions League. Actually, well, to be honest, Ronaldo's yeah. goals, by the way, yeah. these guys are not are the Champions League, yeah. Europa. Mm. But I do not believe that that will be the same Manchester United that played in the group stage that is going to play tomorrow. Mm. There have been so many improvements by Ralph Ragnick. Mm. If we can look at the past five games, yes, they, they lost the first, we lost the first two. I'm just saying the last five games. Yeah. Mm. So we won the last two. We drew the we drew and I think we lost against. Is it the one we lost against Wolves? Oh, mm. Mm. yeah. And then after that, so the idea and I take you back to the Brighton game, not because Brighton is a is a lesser team. Yeah. Or yeah. With all due respect yeah. to Brighton versus and Atletico Madrid. Yes. Is what Ragnik said, what Ragnik told the players. Press tomorrow. 
we can outrun atletico mm. can we be careful in the back we should be mm. because now if you watch the game against um <clears throat> leads mm. we had uh Lindorf, who's a ball playing defender i mean if you looked at the second if you looked at the, at Yo, the second there's, there's goal the run he made in the, is this the second half it, yes, it's yeah, the second yeah, half yeah, yeah. yeah. i was yeah, like yeah. god damn that that uh, who scored that um it, it led to a goal actually was it scored bruno was it bruno it, it was bruno's yes, yeah but oh, you know yes yes yes, yes, bruno, yes 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 but he ran with the ball mm. now what we need to be careful is he doesn't lose possession yes okay because because we leave maguire behind Th- three versus one yeah. it's a no brainer yeah, mm-hmm. obviously yeah. they are going to mm-hmm. get the goals mm-hmm. so we need first of all to outrun atletico madrid we need to make sure that their ball distribution doesn't go to the wing backs mm-hmm. and then it travels now to the strikers mm-hmm. because they have mm-hmm. luis suarez who is okay. clinical mm-hmm. they have coke they have jao felix mm-hmm. yeah that korea, ball, korea. korea. Yeah. Yeah. that ball should not go back into the final third which is in the middle of the park mm. yeah. why because they are going to convert our midfielders into shallow ends mm. why mm. they are going to pass that ball mm. and oh. once it gets to either suarez or jao felix at an exact goal mm. so we need to stop it we need to make sure that tomorrow and i really hope again uh fred starts mm. Mm. okay yeah. fred and mctominay mm. so we can cushion mm. we, we don't have any other players Let, let's mm. let's just yeah because matic is not even the mathematics yeah mm. yeah so we mm. don't have any other players we mm. just have to play these players mm. but we just have to be that extra careful in the middle of the park and street yeah. smart yeah it's just smart it's mm. going to be a whole and, and then mm. and then it, it's it, this is not the game that ronaldo he's going back to madrid mm. it's not the game for him to go and showboat mm. how he left madrid how he has been <laughs> chapa in atletico no no no, no. Yes, he needs to be, yeah. yeah he needs to be in the game mm. Okay, he in needs to moment. understand yeah, in the moment mm. he needs to understand that his link up play between him and Bruno his number 10 mm. and also with the likes of Elanga Sancho. if he's mm. going to start or Sancho mm. needs to be spot on yeah, yeah. yeah. true yeah. true cuz yeah. he's starting tomorrow he has, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah he's, he's starting, starting tomorrow. tomorrow yeah Ronaldo if you have a chance to show both please do mm. do not <laughs> <laughs> please do <laughs> You know how that goes. Mm. You know how that goes. Mm. All right, so that's going to be an interesting game for sure. Mm, I think sure. I feel it's going to be a very different test mm-hmm. for United unlike what they have done the last yes. they've had in the last I know five this will, this will be the this will be the, the, the hardest test uh for Ragnik in mm. the past five games. Mm. Past five. Have to, uh, and no, since no. Wolves. Yeah. I believe since Wolves this will be the hardest test. Yeah, mm. for sure, for sure. Mm. Another interesting game is between Benfica and Ajax. Wow. I was looking at Ajax and they have been in superb form, man. Mm. Scoring goals for free. Not conceding goals. I can't say the same about Benfica though. Mm. Benfica have been also wobbly. Mm. I think they have won their last. Um, their last day they have won. Oh, they have won six, but mm. they have been conceding goals mm. mm-hmm. for free. Yeah. So against Ajax side that uh, they, they had Sebastian Eller who scored. Uh, I think the most goals in the group stages. Yes, yes. yes. I, yes. Saw that, I think Ajax had a hundred percent record. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They did. So alongside the uh, you know who. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. What? Yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. Against Liverpool, yeah. Alongside you guys, yes, okay, alongside okay. Liverpool. Oh, fine. Mm. Because Shanghai was not so United. Yeah, Manchester very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know my place. Yeah. I know yeah. my place. Don't even mention Arsenal here. <laughs> uh, okay, so Ajax have been very good. Well, you guys, you guys have been 100% in the Don't training ground. Don't mention Arsenal in Champions League football. Mm. Mm. I tell you, Tony, you're still. Middle, you guys have been 100 <laughs> in tra- called training. <laughs> tell you, Arsenal. <laughs> so Ajax mm. against Benfica. Mm. Benfica, they play well. Mm. They have a kind. Is it now? Now in. What is his name? Mm. Darwin Nunes. Mm. That, that striker that is being even linked with Man United or something. Mm. So they have guys who can score, but at the back, mm. soaking. Mm. Against Ajax, who are perfect. Do they yeah. start a against, chance here? Against Ajax, who are playing, you know, Cruyff sort of... Typical yeah. Dutch football. 4-3-3. Yeah. 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 Do they stand a chance? Possession. I feel like Benfica, mm. uh, mm. Kidogo, they'll be overwhelmed. I know, they'll be overwhelmed. Once uh, at, uh, Ajax go into that possession-based football, mm. stay with the ball mm. and look to distribute even if it's at the 73rd minute, mm. they will tire them up. Mm. They will tire them up. I think for me, a, a dream game at their best would mm. be a Man City versus Ajax. I would love to see that, that game. That would be interesting. Mm. Would I would love to see the, that for game. The, for the football purists. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to for see sure. that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because even Barca is way behind that sort of tikataka. Mm. For now, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. But, but Xavi is getting it back. Maybe mm. they will get there eventually. Mm. You don't know how long it will take. Mm. But do you feel like Benfica will be on the back foot here even though they'll be at home? Probably Benfica will have to play, on, play. The, on, the, on, the, on the counter yeah. and just hope that they can probably sneak in a goal or two because Ajax will will overwhelm them with possession yes uh, territory everything will will read in favor of Ajax mm. so i don't see how 
Benfica could could nick in a goal or two, but I think Ajax will just be stronger eventually. They could be, they yeah. could be. Mm-hmm. They have some young guys like in uh, is it Neres? Mm. The, the young uh, Brazilian winger. Yes. Some good mm-hmm. do some Tadiches mm-hmm. again. Some Tadiches still goals. there. Yes. They have, uh, is, is he called Anthony? Yeah. This is uh, another winger who's so fantastic. Do you, by the way, uh, Ajax do you want to talk about these players? The academy. They, they also the academy. have academy. The academy. The academy, the academy is bright. Yes. That's Super. Cruyff knew, God bless his soul, Cruyff knew that if, I can, if Ajax can get an academy, mm. it's a wrap. Mm. Same thing he went and did with Barca. Mm. A proper academy. Yes, yeah. La Masia. La Masia. Mm. Mm. Any club needs a proper youth facility yeah. mm. to get. You remember when Arsenal were pulling guys from the from the youth yes. youth setup? Mm. Kina Chamberlain. Mm. Who was the youth setup? Was it Ramsey or was it Wilshire? Mm. Wilshire. 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 Mm. I mean, come on, look at those yeah. players. Now we have Saka and Smith Rowe. Yeah, you guys should also visit the Ajax Museum. World class, man. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful place, by the way. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, so that's gonna be interesting. So let's see how that game is gonna go. I think Ajax will have a chance mm. here mm. over Benfica. Mm. Could we be seeing the same Ajax, another Ajax of what we saw? Was this seventeen eighteen? 2019. It was 2019. 2019, 2019, yes, 2019 season. When yes. they were going, beating they everybody. They had like Madrid. Yeah, yes, beat yes. Madrid, beat yeah. Ajax. Yes. And then uh, lost to fucking Spurs. Spurs in the same <laughs> 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 Yeah. Could you be seeing the same side again? Yeah, probably he's building something new because as 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 uh, Joa said, it's mm. academy. Mm. These are kids who are just coming through and I mean, when Ajituma, they just send themselves and before you know it, mm. they're picked off by the, I mean, by the European clubs because mm. I'll take you back to the, 19, to the 90s mm. when Ajax won the European Cup. Yeah. They, they had... Uh, Littman and they had, uh, they they had Edgar Davids, mm-hmm. uh, Sidoff, mm. Patrick Levert. Within a year or two, all those was guys had gone. Was the were picked off? No, the was at uh, mm. Milan. Milan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ed, and I mean, uh, the, I mean, whatever the keeper who is not the director of football, Van der Sar, Van der Sar oh, by yeah. the way. Yeah, all these guys, mm. Ronald Dubois, Frank Dubois, all those guys within a year or two mm. had all left. By the way, mm. yes. Mm. All right, so mm. that's gonna be interesting. Let's see how the Champions League is gonna go. Of course, it's the Kamara Arsenal fans who just took to popcorn and sit back because <laughs> 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 the team is nowhere to be seen, yes. but we'll be there next year. So let's uh, wait at the that. expense of someone, eh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that someone is here. Nah, the uh, expense of Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that for episode four. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming through. Wow, this is a good. Pleasure. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. man. I love yeah. this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Please have us again. Yes. It's, a, it's, on it's maybe something different. It's mm. something different. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. We can be doing we like... We can go all out. Yeah, mm. every mm. every once a month, we can, you know, mm. like we can be having you guys coming in. Yes. Okay. We, don't, we don't have residents. Yes. Mm. We're just shuffling and shuffling yeah. so we can have you guys every month. Yeah. Yeah. Joe jo and Bill will be in the house. Because the football just gets better and better, man. It's getting spicier now because home stretch sasa yeah. so let's see how that's gonna go down oh don't forget check this out on youtube uh, football digest ke mm. we also on instagram and facebook going by the same name football mm. digest ke yeah. okay spotify is also uh, where you can check this uh podcast voice go listen it uh, over there we also are at anchor and um where is that Sp- uh, soundcloud Yes, I could not use SoundCloud. Okay, what use SoundCloud? Oh. People do listen to SoundCloud. So go check it out on SoundCloud, Spotify, and Anchor. All right, that's it for now. Catch you next weekend. God bless. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Adios, muchachos.